think of two brothers, and they're both knights. And we'll ignore my horrible drawing. These are knight helmets. Um, but I got two brothers here, one labeled K and one labeled S, believe it or not, for kinetic and static. And these are the friction brothers. Now, they only fight one at a time. Uh, if one is defeated, the other one will rush in. But they don't try to fight at once. So static friction is pushing against a doorway. They're defending a castle against attackers. Ooh, better yet, they're defending against evil orcs. Rawr. As the orc pushes against the door trying to get in, static friction pushes with the exact same force. Static friction doesn't push with more because then he risks the door swinging open the other way, and that's not good either. And static friction doesn't push with less because then he risks the orc pushing through and getting in. So static friction always pushes with the same force as whatever is trying to get an object to move. So he could push with a really small force, like let's say the orc is making a half-hearted effort to get in and just sort of gently pushing on the door, static friction will gently push back with the same amount and the door won't move. Well, the orc starts to get a little bit more desperate, so he pushes a little bit harder. Static friction pushes back a little bit harder as well at the exact same time. Then the orc starts feeling really frustrated. He pushes fairly hard. Static friction pushes back fairly hard as well. Finally, the orc musters all the strength he can, and he pushes really, really, really hard, and static friction can no longer match it. Static friction has reached his maximum push value. He gets overwhelmed, the door swings open, and the orc comes running in. The poor Static Friction brother has been defeated and is just lying on the ground right now. Now it's up to Kinetic Friction to push back. Now Kinetic Friction only has one value, and that is on. So he always pushes with the exact same force. If the orc pushes with a harder force, the orc will continue sliding in the direction he wants to go. But if the orc pushes with less force, then eventually he'll be slowed down and stopped and defeated. Then the brothers will get back up again and defend the door just like they used to. So, only one happens at a time. Static friction tries to prevent the object from sliding in the first place and can push back with a range of values, anything from zero to some maximum value. Once that maximum value has been exceeded, static friction fails and the object begins to slide, the object begins to move. That's when kinetic friction pushes back and tries to stop it. And that's how the two knights, the Friction Brothers, try to keep their castle safe. So that range of values for static friction, again, is anything from zero. Think back to the dresser. If you don't push the dresser at all, then the force of friction is zero. All right, cool. If you push the dresser with one newton of force, barely anything, then friction will push back with one newton of force and the dresser's not going to budge. If you push with two newtons of force, still generally not enough to do anything, static friction will push back with two newtons of force until you end up finally finding that magical value where static friction can no longer push back, then the dresser will begin to slide. Try it with literally any object. I've got my mug sitting on my table right here with me now. If I give it a little push, I gotta apply a certain amount of force before I start my mug sliding. So that's static friction. The maximum value of static friction is the coefficient of static friction, mu sub s, times the normal force. So again, the force of kinetic friction always equals just one value, but it only exists when an object is sliding. That's mu sub k times the normal force. Static friction can be a range of values anywhere from zero to one newton to three newtons all the way up to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. And that sort of makes sense. The heavier an object is, the greater the normal force from the floor, the more difficult it is to push across the floor. Between any two surfaces, the coefficient of static friction will actually be greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. A lot of times when I'm pushing something really, really heavy, I have to have someone help me get it started, but once it started sliding, I can maintain it myself. 
and that's because the force of kinetic friction is actually less than the force of static friction. 